Have you got team members out there that only run for incentives for those bragging rights? You know, there's team members out there that will basically just run for an incentive. They don't really care about what the the prize is or the competition is, it's purely just to get their name out there in the lights. And then you have the other side of the team that won't run for the incentive because they feel like, what's the point in running for it when these other people seem to win all the time anyway? Let's chat about that today. Thank you for joining me. I'm Janelle from JanelleEmma.com. I help stay-at-home mums to build a, a, a kick-ass home business, creating a proactive and purpose-driven life. Please subscribe to my videos if you feel that you will get something from them today. So let's have a look at those people the ones who are not as highly driven from an incentive but they really want to be involved but feel like what's the point in being involved when these you know when these other three five six people seem to always win these incentives what's the point in being involved in that and this is where you have that problem come through the team where half of your team won't have the drive or the motivation to run for these incentives because they feel like they're never going to reach them or they're never going to be part of the competition enough to win whatever the incentive has at the end of that. So this is where I want you to think about three different types of incentives that you may create for your team throughout different parts of the year or throughout different times when there may be another event coming up that you can help them reach these incentives for. So what I mean by that is, you know, just say you have an event coming up, a local event, an event that's in your area, you want to make sure your team are going to that event, right? So why not create an incentive that is based around getting your team to that event? So this could mean that you create a seven day or a 14 day incentive or a competition and you only want these people within your teams to enroll one customer or one distributor depending on what this incentive is have a look at different ways that really builds um, excitement and motivation through even the people that aren't the big players in your teams you want everyone involved in incentives no matter what they are you want everyone involved so why not have um, an incentive that has three different prizes. One for the small player that only wants to um, you know, get a small incentive just to feel like they're in the game, to feel like they're a part of the team and to win something for free. Another incentive, the second one could be for those medium players, you know, the ones who are, are moving into those leadership roles but they're not quite there at the top of the tree but they really want to be a part of what this is and really want to get something out of it to help their team as well. Or you might have the third incentive which is for the big players. This is where you can throw some cash at them. Um, you can make them think about ways that they can, um, you know, have some sort of training or extra uh, dinners and things at these events if they get to these events because of this incentive. And this is just a really good way to get the whole team involved. So don't just have an incentive that's one incentive with one prize for one type of person in your uh, in your organization because this is why you don't get a lot of people wanting to join your business uh, join your organization's incentives because they feel like that's it, not worth it anyway they feel like they're not going to win or have any sort of success in that incentive so they just don't even try and we don't want that do we we want everyone to be involved in these incentives and so why not get yourself three different um, incentive prizes that you can lay out there for your team. So also one of them may be that your team members, you know, even the ones who are more the small players, they're not quite up in that leadership role yet. They feel like they're still just getting started. Why not have a, a, a separate um, training for those people? You know, you could say to them, enroll one customer in seven days and myself and our upline will give you a one-on-one -on -one personalized free training where you can ask us as many questions as possible and we can get together over a Zoom or over a coffee or um, you know, in some situation where you, we can answer those questions for you to help you move forward within your business. How do you think that's going to play out? You know, If you've got people in your team that you know if you push them just that little bit, they will enroll one customer of course they are going to run for that, aren't they? Especially if they get a free training out of it, a personalized one-on-one -on -one free training for them. Why not do something like that? Or another one could be that you have uh, a brand new product coming out um, that's been launched within your company. You have access to that product, but they may not have access yet because of whatever reason that may be within your company. You can then say to them, enroll one customer or, or enroll two customers in the next 14 days 
and I will give you this product for free to trial out so you can then tell the rest of your team about it as well and let them know how good this product has been for us. Um, now that's obviously looking at the small players, you know, the people who feel like that they they aren't up there with the leaders yet, but they still want to be involved in what the team does. Find something that works for them that can really help them uh, within their business to make sure that they're still a part of these incentives and not feeling like, you know, what's the point in all this? Or, or you know, they're not feeling left out because all these other people seem to win anyway, so they don't want to try. We don't want people feeling like that. So this is where we want to uh, make sure that we have incentives to suit all types of those people within our team. So I really feel that having three different types of incentive prizes um, can really help with this, you know, a first, second and third prize. And with those top leaders, you know, if you're throwing a bit of money at them and saying, you know, if you can, um, you know, do this incentive over the next 14 days and um, win this prize of a certain amount of cash, you will also get a free one-on-one -on -one with whatever leader that may be above you that you know that they love. And you can have photos together. You can really brand yourself with that leader. People obviously know who that leader is. So of course you can um, be rubbing shoulders with them and the people they hang out with at this event. I will make sure that you're sitting next to them at this event um, in certain seats or on, on a certain day. How exciting is that gonna be for the ones who are the top leaders in your team that you know will run for something like that. They want to run for that because they feel like, why wouldn't I want to rub shoulders or be sitting next to these other top leaders and learning from them at this event? Now, not only is this giving your people more incentive to do these incentives, but it's also giving you opportunities to get your team to these events, making sure your team comes with you to these events. And, and we all know that events are massive. You know, they're so big for our business and will help our business grow in so many ways. So we want as many people there as possible. But really think about the small person and the big person, the small leader and the big leader within your teams and how you can build incentives around that to help everyone out and not just the top dogs who seem to win everything. Um, now, obviously, making your incentives um, fun and achievable. So this is where it comes into um, play that you need to have those different types of incentives throughout the team. Um, and, and, you know, having ones where um, it will give them a bit of a push. And um, most people will push way harder if they know that it seems achievable. You know, most people aren't going to push very hard if they feel the incentive is way above their head and there's no way they're even going to try. But if you do small incentives like enroll four customers in the next, you know, 15 days or enroll one customer or, or bring in one business partner in the next month, those types of incentives will have more of your team being involved in what it is that you're trying to um, teach them more so than, than a big incentive that some people feel like they can't even reach or won't even try for. So I really feel that those sorts of incentives, um, the smaller ones will get more people involved in what you want these incentives to, to do for your team. And it's not, a, it's not about just helping you, it's about helping the team understand that there is incentives out there that they can also do throughout their teams as well to get more people involved in what we're doing. And now also look at, um, you know, special one-on-one -on -one trainings that you can give people. I really feel that a one-on-one -on -one training, the training doesn't have to come from you. You know, if you're not one of those big leaders yourself, have, ring up one of your mentors and ask them, would you be open to doing a one-on-one -on -one training with my team members if I get them to run for this incentive? And the incentive is if they qualify, they get to have a one-on-one -on -one training with you for half an hour and they can ask you as many questions as possible. I'm sure your mentors are going to say yes to that. No doubt they will because they're, you're still a part of their team. You're still helping their volume. You know, we're still helping each other out to grow our businesses. So of course, they're going to say yes in helping you out with your team's incentives. Um, now, now, this sort of stuff also creates, you know, it creates memories, it creates excitement. Um, and, you know, when you look at if you're doing those big incentives where you're getting people to events and you're all taking photos with the, the top leaders of the company, you're rubbing shoulders with them, you're learning from them. How many memories does that create for your team and, and the drive and excitement and belief in what you have? How exciting is that? You know, and it creates so much momentum and excitement within the team and you just feel for yourself, uh, for your team, sorry, you know what, we can do this. Uh, those people um, were in a position where we are right now, they've been in our shoes and now we can learn from them how to get to that next level. And doing that at events is what creates that full belief and makes the whole team start running even more without you having to be the one to try and inspire them just on your own. You know, we can't really motivate our team um, in a big way 
all we can do is inspire them by having them watch our own actions and what it is we do in our business and they see that and some of them get that FOMO, that fear of missing out, thinking I don't want to miss out on what it is that she's doing so I'm going to do exactly what she does in her business and get to where she is in, in our ranks of our company as well. So I find that um, you know incentives are such a big part. I honestly feel that they are something we should be using within our business as long as we've got like three or four different incentives running for those different types of leaders within our teams. We can't have one incentive for the whole team. Imagine that. It's just not going to bring in the, the right amount of people. And, you know, if you want volume in your team, do an incentive. If you, if your team, if your um, business, you know, you can sign up a distributor and you get some sort of an incentive bonus for signing a distributor, use that bonus as money towards some sort of an incentive for your team for the next month or um, use it as a way to help your team realize that you're there to support them and you may be able to buy them some um, movie tickets or a night out for dinner with you or um, even, you know, get you to buy a night out for dinner with them and one of the other leaders that they love the most. You know, and that's a really good incentive because they're not, they're just going out of their way with time, but you're paying for them and helping them out by saying, thank you for what you've done in our team. Here's a night out with one of our top leaders. Go and have some fun, make some memories. And how awesome was that as an incentive? You know, I love this idea and I really love that it can work throughout the team, not just to create excitement, but you're all going to create volume for yourselves by doing that. You really are going to have yourselves move forward a lot more by creating that um, that volume within the team with an incentive that comes along with that. Now, I also think that Christmas time is a great time or any sort of holiday, any sort of, um, you know, vacation time, holiday time, um, whatever country you're in, there's different holiday seasons that, that um, companies and teams have. So create an incentive around that. You know, Christmas time is a great time to have um, discounts on products with your company. Usually your company will put on some sort of a sale or a discount or they may give free shipping within the company. So make sure that you're buying a lot of product through that um, that Christmas time or that holiday season where your company is putting on these sorts of incentives because then you can be using that product for your team to give them something for free. It may be something as small as a hand cream or a body wash or a um, you know, a, a short holiday or what, I don't know what uh, company you're in, but if you're in a company where you can do that sort of stuff because the company's put on an incentive, use that to your own advantage and buy whatever products you can at a discounted rate to then use for free within your own teams as well. And that will help your team realize, well, I've got something for free and all I had to do was sign up one customer or, um, you know, I got something discounted, a brand new product that we don't even have in the country yet. And all I had to do was sign up two customers and that's what will build that excitement. So I hope this was of value to you today, guys. Um, why not get your teams committed? Get your teams committed to doing incentives. Make up small and large incentives that can really work. If you're pairing up with yourself and another business partner that you love working with the most, get together and get yourself some team incentives happening over these holiday seasons and really boost that volume. You know, we don't want to stop our businesses over, over the holiday seasons. We want to keep going. And a lot of people are out there looking to spend money around this time of year because they are, you know, looking at presents to buy or they're looking at things for, um, you know, teachers and hairdressers and that sort of stuff. And so incentives are great to help people out in that way. So why not use the holiday time as a really fun time to build incentives through your team and make it more um, exciting to have volume coming in over the holiday season when everyone's out socializing and talking to people anyway. Thanks very much, guys. Please like or share this if this was of value to you. I'd love your comments below of what you do for incentives within your team. And I'll speak to you all on the next video. See ya.